he has like grown up Lego. <laughs> yeah, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Ah, uh, it's been so long since I've last filmed. I got a lamp. <laughs> this is probably the only update. I got a lamp. Uh, I haven't like done anything with my room yet because I'm still doing my internship and it takes up a lot of my time. So whatever I do with my room is what I have. I haven't even had time to build a lamp. I have a few posters that I want to show you guys, like the ones that I really like. I don't even have a side table yet. Lots of plants and then the pops of colors will be like the different artworks and stuff which I'm really excited about uh, I haven't done anything for my room lately and like small things like this excite me so I can't wait to go back to like Ikea because I want to build more things <laughs> Just look at that it's so cute look at her go I got my Hogwarts snow globe one of the most expensive purchases I've ever made $50 but I was like, I'm gonna use it forever. It matches the aesthetic, and I even have my Hogwarts bucket. There's something about it, it just gives me so much comfort. And I have my candle here, which I always need to have. I always need to have a candle on. I also found some posters. I got this one from the Met, and it's a Water Lilies poster. And I think I'm gonna plan to put it up there. But I'm debating because I have two posters that I really want to put. And this is the other one. So I found this one on Shopee. I wanted to open it on camera because I feel like it would be so special. This is just like the early stages of my room and so I just really wanted to document it. So this is the one I saw online and I was like, oh my god, this is meant to be. This is meant for me. Already I can see like some of the print. You can already see like they didn't cut it properly. I kind of want to frame this. <laughs> as vibrant though. Ah, they're little, they're little tiger lilies. She's so big, but like, and I saw this on Shopee and I was like blown away because I was like, oh my God, this is a sign. This is meant to be. I guess I'll give you like more poster tours. These are like some other posters that I got. This is a William Morris print from the same shop. It's really pretty. I really love like the little floral details. I also have this, another New Yorker print. It is a colorful fruit stand. We have this, this is a Matisse. A pastel Matisse piece. We also have this. A Vogue. Colorful Vogue one. I'm not sure if I like this. I might give it away. I bought this out of Impulse. This is like a really big poster too. So it's another New Yorker poster. It's like a Christmas one. These little Christmas people on it. I don't like the material either. It's like tarpaulin material. So I'm not sure if I like that. I have this Keith Herring hard one. You guys probably have seen this in like my stories. The last print I got is this. And I bought this with the intention of putting it behind my wall. I chose this print simply because when we were going through the Monet exhibit in the MoMA, the guard over there, he was like so sweet about it. He was telling me like all his experiences with like the people who have proposed there and like he was like directing me and like, oh, this is how you should pose. And he was so sweet and I was like, it's such a great memory to remember and just seeing like how he's experienced how this art has touched other people. It just it just touched my soul. So this is how it looks like. It's a whole print of Monet's water lilies. And you know me, I love lilies. So I'm not sure if I'm putting this up there or over there, but it will be up um, as one of like the main pieces of the room because I want to see this every day and just remind me of like how much art impacts people. I don't know, it's just like such a great experience for me. Isis. 
No, you don't. It's emerald greenish. Because they also have like a white one. I got this one from Ikea. And I was debating whether to get a beige one because it would match kind of like the shelves and stuff. But they also had this emerald green one. And you know how I feel about emerald green. Come here, guys. Come. Come. It has a drawer that's gold. However, the sides are like brown. Like, do you see that? Do you see that? Which I don't personally like, but it's okay since it's hidden. It has like these grooves here, and I really like that. It reminds me of like a study table. And then where this is, you can actually like put your cable through here. There's like a hole here. I'm planning to put a poster up here and then like more posters around it or like a shelf up there. My keyboard, I used it again because the one I bought on Shopee kept like shutting down. I have like my mug of pens and like nail cutters. Then I have my tablet. Here is my coaster. It's wood, my mouse, and then my planner. And then all of the messy stuff. And then my headphones. And I bought this headphone stand on Shopee. It was just like 100 pesos. Then my chair is just this random chair that we found. Um, I'm planning to get like an ergonomic one. So yeah. but I got a cushion for my um, bay window so yeah it's like where I'm gonna like lie down read sometimes all my stuffed toys are just chilling there I also need to get like throw pillows I think on two sides sorting my stuff that I got from the condo and then I found this which is crazy little prints of various artwork you can see there's like it's just printed on paper the print job was so bad because I didn't want to waste any ink you know like I would print these and I would stick these on my wall and now I have my own very print I'm just gonna show you guys wait so look at this I remember I remember I remember specifically I told my sister, when I get my own room or my own place one day, I promise myself I'm gonna buy myself a Viria print. And it cost like $20, but back then, that was like a huge amount of money for me to even spend on like a piece of paper. And I have my own print, which I'm so... I'm kind of like, this is one of the most significant things that I look at and I'm like, this has changed my life because I remember little Kiara when she was like 12 years old, 13 years old, Desperately wanting a print but never asking her parents for one because I knew that it, it's just like for them It was a waste of money for for me knowing that I could buy this and spend my own money on this Is so important to me. I don't know. It just like makes my 14 years old self so happy It just makes me happy still because as you can see this is what we started with this is what we started with and this is what we have now. This used to be my wallpaper in my tiny ass Samsung phone when I was 12 years old. I discovered Viria because of my sister Eliana and we both love Percy Jackson so I bought this for her last year for her birthday. The little underwater kiss and I think it's so cute. I keep so much random shit that it makes me laugh. Like I remember this from my music room in junior high. The Last Rose of Summer from the opera Martha. It's Celtic apparently. I keep shit like this that I don't even need or don't even like necessarily have an attachment to but then grow an attachment to over time because it's stuck with me. And it's taking me a while to go through all this stuff because I've been going through it since like 5 p.m. and these are basically just like old stuff, stuff I kept in boxes, letters, all that stuff because I, I take so long going through these because I get very sentimental quickly so like if I see something that my friend gave me, I, I'll take a picture of it, have a conversation about it. This poster of Emma Watson, I got this when I was 
in second grade and I still kept it. I'm entering fourth year college. Coming of age is come gone. Suddenly the summer is clear. We're back in the city. We're gonna go to IKEA later. So we're gonna go home shopping. Okay, so I'm gonna buy some stuff. I'll give you a haul. I'm like talking to the fucking car. I'm thinking of getting pillows for my couch. Yeah, we have a good no. How many kids? I got a few things from Ikea. By a few, I mean quite a lot. First off, these shelves, which I'm planning to put on my bay window. I got two of those shelves. I also got a little door, like key hanger, because I feel like it matches the color of my wall. This mirror box, it's called the Bamarkin. You can actually hang it on a wall like that. And it's a mirror inside, guys. The next thing I got was this lamp called the Tarnaby, but it doesn't have the light bulb because they ran out of the light bulb. I'm gonna put this on my study table. I want it kind of to look like an oil lamp. That's kind of like the vibe. I'm thinking the vibe of my room is maximalist cottage core light academia or dark academia, something like that. Yeah, the last two things I got were these kind of like fairy lights, which I want to put around my window area. I also got this new light bulb. Do you know how to change a light bulb? I know how to change a light bulb. I need to switch that light bulb because it's currently like white light. Look, it's such a fat ass bulb. Okay, wait, no, I figured it out. You can unscrew it. Okay. Hey, what the fuck is that? That's a way prettier color than a while ago. Stranger Things. Oh, look how dirty that lamp is. I'm about to lose my mind. These are two shelves that I want to put over here. You guys can't see it. Okay, uh, over here. I think we're gonna have to screw them on though. It's called the Moss Landa. Miss Lockton, Miss Lockton. Building IKEA is like grown up Lego. <laughs> yeah, I love how it's like exactly fit for this. I could add more plants for like those like crystal lights that can drape down here. So like when the light touches, it'll like reflect on my whole room. Yeah, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. So this is the other lamp. I still have to buy a filament bulb. And this is just like a normal bulb. It's not dimmable. But I hate this color. As we all know, I want this color. I'm gonna buy a light bulb that's warm and dimmable. Kinda looks like a blender. <laughs> so yeah. Now I'm gonna hang up some of the fairy lights on my windowsill. Hey guys, I got tired from building. <laughs> I went on TikTok for like an hour and then I was like, mm, I'm just gonna hang up the posters or like arrange them. But I might do that in the next vlog. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this little room update. I'm gonna include the installation of the other things in the next video as, as well as the wall. And yeah, I haven't planned it all out yet. So yeah, back to school season's coming up. So expect vlogs because I'm a senior already, which is crazy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.